Well, hey, interwebs. Um, I just stopped by the house just to check in, see how it's going. It's a nasty, rainy day, so no work's getting done today. And looky what I found. I've got the sliding glass door. The cool window guys came by and got her taken care of. Wow. It is so smooth. That's awesome. The next day. Well, greetings, interwebs. Today, as you can see, we're in the truck. Um, going to Home Depot. Gonna go pick up some insulation. Gonna go do the garage. The sheetrock is supposed to go up tomorrow or the next day, so I need to get the fiberglass up in the garage before they do that. The reason the regular fiberglass guys didn't do it was it's not in the contract to do the garage, just the living space of the house. I want to put insulation in the garage, A, to help keep down the moisture and humidity for the truck, and B, insulate the pipes that are on that outer wall that run to the water heater and the washer and that sort of thing. So it'll just make for a better environment. Plus my network racks will be in that garage. It'll help keep the temperature down. So that's what we're doing today. So now, hold the whole depot. Okay, yeah, that was stupid. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Well, I went to Home Depot, got all the stuff I needed, the insulation, the baffles, all that good stuff. Forgot one thing, stapler. So, running up the Ace Hardware here in Dreamcoat real quick to pick up the stapler. I tried nailing the baffles up, but that, yeah, that don't work. So, yeah, stapler. You'll see on the video, <laughs> me trying to nail those things. Nail thin uh, styrofoam into a bouncy piece of plywood, it just, yeah, it doesn't work. Oh well, live and learn. Later. Okay, I got a staple gun. It's a Arrow brand, white, looks like something a stormtrooper would use, and a pack of staples. So yeah, this should make it a whole lot easier in trying to nail them in place. We'll see. So this is the, uh, the styrofoam baffles that I got for the attic. It's a, a tin pack. Turns out they're perforated down the middle. You cut them, now you have 20. It also turns out they are twice as long as they need to be. So, after you cut them in half, <laughs> cut them in half again, now that tin pack becomes 40. Yeah, I didn't need that second pack of them. Cut all these in half to this, I'm good to go.
one pack of insulation. Got most of the outside wall. The main objective though was to get this wall. This has pipes on it. So I'll go and do this one now. And then if there's any insulation left, I'll try to fill in some of the gaps on this outside wall. Um, we should be okay. Well, there you have it. Most of the garage is done. There's a few spots that I missed, but since this wasn't going to be insulated at all, at least it got some. Biggest thing is where there's water pipes, there's insulation behind them. Don't have to worry about them freezing. Uh, these few little spots here and there. I mean, I also want to get up top where I put those baffles in, but again, mm. maybe, I don't know, someday. We'll see. Who knows? But better than it was right yeah a few little spots on the end next to the door um, the ones around this window the one where the vent pipe is which is just a vent and the one in the corner but the rest of them here behind where the air handler will be and all the rest here where all the pipes go <coughs> oh sorry Breathing insulation dust all day is a lot of fun. But yeah, anyway, the pipes are insulated. That's the big thing. And then, of course, that's the wall to the living room. Okay. Here's something else that's not really relevant to building the house. I just wanted to point it out. All-American Carburetor in Orange Park, they rebuilt my carburetor in my truck because it was all gunked up and it was old. They do great work. As a testament to their work, bump the key and it fires right up. It's an old two barrel with manual choke. But since rebuild, bumps every time. Man, those guys do great work. Day three. Greetings, interwebs. Turns out uh, the painters are coming out to the house to start prep work. So um, let's get out there, shall we?
day for. Well, greetings, interwebs. Here we go again. Riding back out to the house. Uh, I'm going to see if the painters are doing anything today. And they came out yesterday and prepped everything. Uh, I'm not sure they're painting today or tomorrow. They might need a day to let all the caulk dry. I don't know how that part works, but got to ride to Green Cove anyway, so we'll see. Stand by. Well, greetings, interwebs. As you can see, paint job's done. I don't know when they did it. Um, yesterday, when they were doing all the caulking and such, I thought they were doing that and leaving. I tried to ask, but none of them spoke enough English, so none of them really could answer me. So I thought they'd let the caulk dry a day or two and then come back. Well, this is the next morning, and it's already done. So, but it's done. <laughs> it looks nice. It's got that whole beach house vibe I was going for. What do you think? Does it look all right? Hmm? Eventually. Oh yeah, time to get me out and fish. Woo! I love these fish. Pole set up and wait a minute. I think I smell. Yeah, cable videos. Holy crap! I got to go. Cable video. Cable video. Cable video. I gotta get through. Cable video! Watch it, you troglodyte! Hmm. That's a barbarian. Still there. He does seem somewhat enamored. These so called cable videos. Hmm. Perhaps I should investigate. Could be an interesting diversion. I shall look into it. Well, greetings, interwebs. Today, doing cable. Uh, 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 uh. Calm down. It's not a cable video. This is a cable box. I'm sure you've seen these on the sides of houses. You hook this to the side of the house. You put, you know, that's where the cable connector goes. My ground block and the the big F, uh, RG11 line that comes from the pole. We'll hook into the nice RG6 line coming out of the side of the house. Be inside here. Put the cover over it. First of all, I want to paint the cover. To match the side of the house so i don't have this you know big ugly gray box on the side of my freshly painted house so <clears throat> get to it shall we gotta rip it nice and cold ready to go <clears throat> that should um, dry pretty soon. I'll set it out in the sun so it can dry. So I'll paint the bottom of this just to make sure it's all covered. And to get the excess paint off my brush. Now we just let that dry. Easy cheesy, lemon squeezy.